Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar. Part 4 of the Story of Abraham. This is Abraham. He lived about 4,000 years ago, and he's known for his trust in God. Abraham lived for a while in the country of Canaan. He was quite old and did not have any children. Sarah, Abraham's wife, came to him with an idea. It's obvious that I am too old to have children. And if we don't have children of our own, one of your employees will inherit all that you have after you die. Take my servant, Hagar, and sleep with her so that we can call her child our own. In that time, it was normal to have people work for you as servants, and it was also legal to have children with them that could officially be called their master's child. Abraham followed Sarah's suggestion and slept with Hagar. When Hagar became pregnant with Abraham's child, she became proud. She started to look down on Sarah, and she teased her because she was not able to give Abraham a child of her own. Sarah went to Abraham and told him about it. He replied, Hagar is your servant. You can do with her whatever you want. From that day on, Sarah began treating Hagar so badly that finally she decided to run away. As she was running away to the desert, she found a well where she stayed. A messenger of God, called an angel, came to her and asked, Hagar, what are you doing here? She said, I ran away from Sarah because she was treating me so badly. Go back, he encouraged her. God will take care of you, and you will have a son, who you shall call Ishmael, and he will be a fighter. Hagar was impressed that God was taking care of her and her needs, and she went back to Sarah and Abraham. And soon after all of this happened, she bore a son and called him Ishmael. Ishmael.